When I was 12, my drum teacher showed me a concept that completely changed my life on the drums and transformed what I thought was even possible. Now right now, you might be thinking, surely he's exaggerating. But I'm not. This concept is going to start, well, simply enough, but watch through to the end and you'll see what I mean. Now the concept we're talking about is going to use an abbreviation and adaption of the rhythmic checklist or the rhythmic grid. This is something that you can find in depth on my website. Today, we're only gonna use the first four figures from the rhythmic checklist. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these four rhythms and play them as accents on top of different foot ostinatos. Let's go through the different figures now. I'm gonna keep time with my left foot on quarter notes so you can hear all four figures. A prerequisite to getting this entire challenge is being able to master those figures as accents against the click and have it as clean as possible. You should be able to switch between all four rhythms on the fly, whether that's one measure each, two measures each, or even just one beat each. What we want to do next is place that on top of a basic samba foot ostinato. Now, ostinato just means a rhythm that always stays the same. The hi-hat's gonna be on the ands, the kick is gonna be on the one and the ah, the two, the ah, and so on. So what we're gonna play is kick and a kick and a Once you have that, we're gonna play 16th notes with our hands, single strokes. So right, left, right, left, and line all that up with what our feet were just doing. And by the way, that's not even step one yet. That's more like step 0.5. Good so far, here's what's next. We're gonna start playing those accents, those rhythmic figures from the checklist against our feet. It sounds a little something like this. I hit the rim. By the way, we just went from step 0 0.5 to steps 1, 2, 3, 4. So you want to actually isolate and get each one of these individually. And the first step I would suggest is to play the feet in the hands without any accents and just get that comfortable, get that clean, get that rolling, and then you can add an accent, then take it away. Add the accent, take it away. Here's a little bit faster for you. Okay, here's the real secret sauce. We're still not even to the final product, okay? The real secret here is learning to play this cleanly up to speed, and that's all about getting your foot technique correct to play fast and also to play accurately in time. What I do and what I recommend you work on is your slide technique with your right foot to get those doubles fast. And especially with these patterns, I tend to flip back and forth between a heel toe technique to get the ands with my hi-hat or I'll use a swivel technique also with my hi-hat. And if you really wanna master these foot techniques, then make sure you head to my website where you're gonna find all the lessons you need right there.
Okay, now we're on to the actual subject of this video. Uh, hopefully you've spent a little bit of time working on all these concepts, getting them clean. Even slow and clean is a great thing to do. I remember being 13, 14 years old working on this concept while I was waiting at the airport to catch a flight somewhere. And I remember tapping all this stuff out very carefully because it was just breaking my brain. I was like, how do I get this right? So here's the next step. We can play the down beats with an accent. We can play the E's with an accent, the and and the ah. Uh. We're gonna now flip that, switch that, and play every fifth note accented. Now you can see that that's gonna flip hands. Your right hand plays an accent, and then five notes later, your left hand plays an accent. Think of it almost like if you're trading threes back and forth, it kind of feels like that, except we're trading fives back and forth. But the kicker, is we're doing that over that samba foot pattern. So we're still in 16th notes. We're still playing one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, but we're accenting every fifth note with our hands. To start, I'm gonna show you just tapping quarter notes with both my feet, and I'm gonna play those 16th notes with every fifth 16th note accented with my hands. Now you can spend a ton of time just playing that. Eventually you can sense both rhythms at the same time somewhere in your brain where they're just kind of crossing over each other, overlapping, coming back together and you can keep track of both of them uh, almost automatically. That's what we're looking for with this exercise and that's what's so amazing about these types of exercises. It's not about being able to play the thing physically, although that's great too. It's more about what you're training your brain to be able to do. You're cleaning up so many different things and being able to expand the phrasing possibilities in a way that is just effortless to like come up with new combinations because what your hands and feet do don't line up every measure. Okay, let's put that on top of the actual Samba foot pattern. Now, I did promise you an extra bonus challenge, and this is going to really stretch your brain. If you thought that was hard, then just wait for this next one. Before I give it to you, if you guys are getting something out of this video, uh, please make sure to leave a comment, hit the like button, and hit subscribe, because I'm trying to give you guys as many lessons as I possibly can. And even just that little bit of help really helps out the channel. So after you do that, let's move on to this extra spicy little challenge. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drop the Samba pattern and we're going to play a Bionfa pattern. Now, this is a two beat pattern. If you think about what the Samba pattern plays, the Samba is basically four 16th notes long. It's a kick, rest, hi-hat, kick. And it just repeats every single beat. The Bion, it's two beats long and it stretches how long you have to work out this pattern until it cycles around with the fives. So a bayon sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So that bayon pattern, boom, 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 boom. That's what we're now putting underneath the hands playing 16th notes, accenting every fifth note. Again, don't forget to first just practice cleaning it up without the accents. And then why don't we also demonstrate and make sure you practice accenting the downbeats, the E's, the ands, and the ahs. So I'm gonna show you that first. Here's the big one. 
five note groupings with accents, singles over top of that foot pattern. Here we go. Now we can keep exploring these five groupings forever and you're gonna find amazing combinations. It creates the most incredible opportunities for phrases you wouldn't have thought to play, but they sound very musical. To continue that study, click on this video to keep going with those five notes.